6.30, good morning. An air, land, and sea search is underway for a missing canoeist in Boundary Bay. The Coast Guard received a report just after 7 o'clock last night that a man had left from Centennial Beach in Tawasson to go check his crab traps. He was expected back in less than an hour, but never returned. Greg Harper is headed out to Boundary Bay at this hour. We'll be bringing you more on this story as it develops. And we uh, have some employment news to share, both good and bad, for the local tech industry. First, the bad news. Layoffs at Vancouver Studio that is just finding its footing. Pixar has closed its animation studio in Vancouver, costing 100 people their jobs. The Gastown location just opened three and a half years ago. Pixar used the studio to make short films for TV and the internet using characters from its movies. Those include smash hits like Cars, Toy Story, and Monsters, Inc. The company says it's consolidating that production in California. On the bright side, there are other job opportunities in the local technology sector. Up to 1,000 people converged on the headquarters of Hootsuite yesterday. The Vancouver-based social media management company held an open call for potential employees. It's filling 100 new jobs across several different departments. It's very competitive. I mean, just going inside there, you see all those people. Um, I know they're taking 100 jobs, but then you look at all those people in there, so you're, you're really not sure if you're going to get it. With the new hires, Hootsuite's workforce will soon measure 475 people. That's pretty good, considering it started in 2008 with only seven employees. Surrey RCMP need your help in finding a missing teenaged girl. Michelle Arnold was last seen on Tuesday afternoon in the Cloverdale area. Have a look at her photo here. She hasn't been heard from since then. The 19-year-old is described as 5'6", with a slim build and shoulder-length blonde hair. She was last seen wearing a grey Guelph hoodie, black pants and running shoes. Anyone with information is asked to please call authorities. A drive-by shooting made for a scary afternoon commute for drivers in South Vancouver. Gunfire rang out around 3.30 on Marine Drive between Argyle and Victoria. The shots were fired from one vehicle into another. A man was rushed to hospital with injuries, although they don't appear to be life-threatening. The other vehicle took off. So far, there's no description of it. Police aren't sure about the motive or any possible gang links. Meanwhile, bullet holes are greeting visitors to the Steve Nash Fitness World in Richmond. RCMP are investigating a shooting at the Westminster Highway location from late Monday night. No one was hit, and the intended target is unclear. There were a small amount of people inside the gym at the time of the shooting. An arrest has been made in connection with Vancouver's fourth homicide of the year. A 28-year-old man is charged with manslaughter and the stabbing death of a 17-year-old boy. The attack resulted from an altercation between two groups at a restaurant on Kingsway in August. There's nothing to suggest that it was more than that, that they uh, uh, knew each other or were associated with each other in any way. There's nothing to indicate that this is uh, gang-related or drug-related or involved in any sort of criminality. An update on Monday's fiery van crash on Oak Street in Vancouver. Two men who were allegedly inside the vehicle showed up at Eagle Ridge Hospital in Coquitlam. The 19 and 25-year-old suspects have serious burns to their upper body. Both remain in hospital and have not been arrested yet. They were allegedly in the van that crashed into a concrete wall before exploding. Despite their injuries, the men were able to get out and run away. Police say a large amount of gas in the vehicle caused the explosion. Randall Hopley's dangerous offender hearing continues in a Cranbrook court. Yesterday, court heard that years before he abducted a three-year-old boy from his Sparwood home, Hopley was described by a psychologist as a danger to society. A 1985 forensic psychology report was entered as evidence. Hopley pleaded guilty to the 2011 abduction, and if he's declared a dangerous offender, he could face an indefinite prison term with no chance of parole for seven years. Canada's second largest emergency department is now open in Surrey. The new ER has officially opened at Surrey Memorial Hospital. It's separated into zones for different types of care. Those include patients in critical condition, walk-ins and triage, mental health and substance use. It also houses a special pediatric emergency department for kids. It's a much needed boost for an ER that gets 100,000 visits per year. We have to make sure it's done properly. We have, um, uh, you know, so many admissions every year. Um, about one in 11,000 admi admissions results in a complaint. Well, you know, we want to get that down to zero. The new ER cost more than 500 million dollars to build. 
It is 6.35, time for sports. Let's head over to the Connected Studios and check in with Don Taylor.